Hey guys, this is Michael with OTG Gaming. And today we're going to talk about how to add games to either the RG351V or the RG351MP. Uh, they're both very similar in that they have the dual SD card setup. So we're going to learn how to add games to either ArcOS or 351 Elec. Let's do it. Hadouken! The first thing we need to determine is where our games will reside, either on SD card 1 or SD card 2. If you're using just one SD card, that means that your games and the OS are going to be on the same card, so you can skip ahead to the section on adding games. If you're using two SD cards, we need to make sure that the operating system knows that the second card is going to be used for games. So let's do that now. We'll start with 351 Elec since it's so simple. Basically you just need a blank SD card. We'll put it in the secondary slot. All you have to do is power it on and during boot all of the correct folders will automatically be added to the SD card. So after it's done booting, hit start, go down to quit, shut down system. Once it's shut down, remove that secondary SD card and now we're ready to connect it to our computer so that we can transfer our ROM files. If you're using Arc OS, there's a few extra steps, but it's still pretty straightforward. Again, we're going to take our blank SD card, put it in the secondary slot, and we'll power on. Once Arc OS fully boots, we're going to navigate to the options menu and then the very top option, advanced. And then if we go all the way down to the bottom here, you'll see switch to SD2 for ROMs. If it says switch to SD1 for ROMs, that means you're already using SD2, which is great. So at this point, you don't have to do anything. You can just power down and we're ready to move your files over to the second SD card. But if it does say switch to SD2, we want to go ahead and select that. It will cycle through a process here that doesn't take too long. Should be less than a minute. Once it's finished, we can hit start, go down to quit, and shut down system. And after it fully powers off, we can remove that SD card. And now we're ready to transfer our games to it. Just a quick note here on how to connect your SD card to your computer. I'm using a USB adapter that I got on sale at Best Buy. And you can see it has the ability to accept the micro SD or you might have one that requires an adapter such as this one. Or it's possible that you might have a card reader built into your computer or laptop and that's fine to use as well. Basically the point is we just need a way to connect the SD card to a computer so we can transfer the files over. When the SD card is connected to the computer you might get a prompt that looks like this asking to format the card. I didn't get it this time so I just have a picture here. If you do get this prompt just cancel out of it. We don't want to format the SD card that would wipe everything out and we'd have to start from scratch. So what we want to do is I'm in Windows 10 so I'm going to open File Explorer and I'm looking for the SD card. Sometimes it'll be labeled. I think it's when you are using the primary SD card. It will be Easy ROMs for Arc OS and Games for 351 Elect. In this instance it's not labeled but I know it's the card we're looking for because when I open it up, I see all of these different subfolders. And each of these subfolders corresponds to a console or system that the RG351 will play. Now, if for some reason 
you cannot find the SD card in File Explorer. It could be that Windows did not assign a drive letter to the SD card. If that's the case, go ahead and click on the video up in the top right corner. It will show you how to fix that particular problem and then you can come back to this video and continue on with the tutorial. But at this point, I want to find the Genesis folder because we're going to be adding Sega Genesis games. And once I've done that, I'm just going to open it up. Then I have my Genesis ROM folder on my desktop here. I'm going to select them all and then copy and then just paste them right over here. And once they're moved over, that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, of course, if you have other systems you want to add games for, Neo Geo, NES, SNES, then you just want to open each of those particular folders and move the games for that system into those folders. Once you're done, we can eject that USB, or excuse me, we can eject that SD card and we're ready to put it back into our Ambernic. So here's our finished result. I have the RG351V, Arc OS is my OS. The games are on SD card two. I'm gonna go into Sega Genesis and find a game that we loaded on. Select it. And here we are. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you would like more information, you can check out our links in the description to both our official website, otggaming.com, and our eBay store. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.